y'all ready for this? So, oopsie poopsie, never mind. This is actually the end of this particular story, I believe. So, we're actually going to finish the episode here. Yuya, look out! It's still moving! It would seem so, Sugar Pop. Uh, alas, I was hoping to have things cleared up and be walking the sweet lady home by now. I mean, don't lay a finger on burning lecherous cur. Oh my god. And of course, she is my underling. Awesome. Wow, since when? A lady never likes a man who tries to monopolize her, you, Sakuya. <laughs> Saki Don't bend my words. Could you two stop? I have no such thing in mind. Shut up! There's a tank! <laughs> Fighting sure? over human girls as doves is more fucking important, Gabby. <laughs> anyway, it's time to end this. Adieu, mysterious thieving duo. Okay. Hey, stop playing in the box right now. We're literally trying to finish this episode. It stopped! Sorry. Nice job, Yuya. You're acting straight up cool for once. Well, thank you, Monami. I am honored by your words. I'm just saying, though, if I had to pick anybody right now, I'm pretty sure it's Yuya. <laughs> I thought you liked Sakuya. <laughs> Merry Christmas! I Connect don't. this with this. Merry Christmas! Stick that there. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas! We fixed it! We fixed it! Yay! Okay. Maybe it, this is It's a not dead yet. Oh. Oh dear. oh dear. Oh dear indeed. I thought I had immobilized it. Have you no other plan, Kerr? I have not prepared any more ordnance, no. Uh, it seems I have met my match. Forget preparations. Would a super student like you really give up this easily? I'm not done yet, Mona Me. You sure? That said, these two uh, possess an uh, unusual degree of... Baird, look out! <laughs> Sorry, that's the tank. <laughs> no, the tank is so loud. Eek, Gab. Eek! <laughs> Beard, are you hurt? Uh, I'm feeling alright. I'm feeling okay. She's fine. I'm taking out the tank all by myself. Say... There we go. Uh, you, you, you tail, your tail is burnt. Smells like shit. Smells it delicious. smells delicious, actually. Oh, okay. All that matters is that you're safe. A little bird like this is just another metal bravery. You sure? Sakazaki, you fool. Don't go raising flags here. Come on, we'll withdraw. Holy shit. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Is this fucking asshole? Yeah. Uh, you seem to be having difficulties. <laughs> now I'm wondering if we should do a separate episode. I don't fucking know! Um, Who'd have expected him to sh That's you, sorry. Who'd have expected him to show up here? Dr. Iwamine? Alright, if it if it ends soon, sooner rather than later, it'll be the end of this episode. But if not, we're just going to start from the next episode. So if this is a new episode, welcome back to Pineapple Gaming with all this bullshit. Go forth. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Why are you... Yeah, what? yeah, why are you here? Oh, God. I took the liberty of examining the council room this morning. This case, rather interesting. I could help you out, if you like. <laughs> of course, if you don't need my assistance, I'll leave. Sure. I do not have... I do have other things to be doing, after all. I can't really see his face in the darkness, but he sounds even more uninterested than usual. Maybe he's in a bad mood again. But not even Doctor... Not even the Doctor would bluff about something like this, right? I think you will find me more reliable than the singed... than the singed and self-confident dove at your side. Uh... What a sharp tongue you have, Doctor. I don't know. You just still fucking cool as shit. Please, Dr. Iwamine, if, if you have some way of stopping those thieves, please help us. I had hoped, oh, the, the, the. I had hoped to take them alive, but at this point I won't object if you decide to obliterate them entirely. Me too. Saka, you know, I mean, <laughs> Fuck. They're doing bad things, but I can never live with myself if you let, if I let you kill something that I, what, why, what made, what makes me think I that's have... adorable? I have no intention of killing them. Damn it. Miss Burdington. 
Yes. The doctor tosses the ball, or rather, a sort of oblong metallic lump to me. Throw it at the tank. You should be able to lend it enough force to rupture the casing. Fucking uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, that's a bomb. A, it's a grenade! Leave it to me, sir! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Look! Look! I did it! Hole in one! They're gonna die. That's good. Well done. You have a good throwing arm. A lot of really good things that I'd like to do. Did you not take the pin out first? But what did that do? There was no great explosion. Oh, a tear gas bomb, right? Huh? Oh. The, the tank, tank is, is swathed in some sort of gas? What? Doctor, we must withdraw. We'll be affected too and won't be able to secure the thieves. Can you stand, Yuya? We need to get. The gas is spreading throughout the entire area. We need to get back to the mansion and send out guards with gas masks. The gas has no effect on us anyway. Huh? Are they not burnt? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tank hatch opens and the two white creatures stagger out. Oh, they look terrible. <laughs> Finding an allergen, uh, allergen specific to them was quite simple. Oh. I found plenty of samples to work with in the council room, after all. They're currently experiencing symptoms similar to those exhibited by people suffering from pollen allergies. What a fucking day. The allergen in this case is soybean flour. Alright. Mr. Sakazaki has been already quite a number of holes in the body of the tank, so it diffused him quite beautifully. Okay. I am pleased to see it worked. How kind of you to give me some credit despite my miserable failure. I hadn't expected that from you. You're quite an exemplary teacher. Th thank you, Mr. Sakazaki. I do not have a voice down for him. You flatter me. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, how did you know so much about these previously unidentified creatures? The music just stopped. I just want to go, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's still in a bad mood. He's staring off into space. Were the tests he was doing this afternoon for this? If so, it was an undeniable success. Shouldn't he be happy? Anyway, they're ours now. Tie them up. Fuck them. <laughs> Black heat star. Okay. I don't know. Okay. And so our freezing midnight war came to an end of sorts. Accept your fate, Christmas thieves. You've nowhere left to run. I now identify yourselves. <laughs> you won't get to go home any quicker by looking sad. What are your names? <laughs> Kaku, that's all? Why do you two do all of this? Quite, quite frankly, I don't give a hoot about Christmas, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just so much capitalist, commercialized rubbish. But there are plenty of birds who really care about it. I, I like the, the I, Peanuts for, uh, Christmas special, too. It's not nice to ruin their fun. Mirror plus yeah, Kaku! <laughs> Christmas is all Mirror and Kaku have! Wow. <laughs> Christmas is ingrained into Mirakaku's very instincts. Oh my god, that's not okay. That's fucking ter- <laughs> Oh my I god. I have to leave. <laughs> Sit your ass back down. They told Miru and Kaku they were never meant to be born. No one was to give them life. Oh. But they were born. Uh huh. On Christmas Eve. Sure. Are you ready for the tragic backstory? What in the fuck? <laughs> because they weren't meant to be born. They had to be removed. What? So Miru and Kaku were abandoned. That's not removing them. Miru and Kaku aren't real. Miru and Kaku are alive, but Miru and Kaku are different. So Miru and Kaku couldn't be put outside. 
Oh, uh, Miru and Kaku. Miru and Kaku. But Miru and Kaku couldn't stay. Yeah? So Miru and Kaku were going uh, to be burned. Yeah. Wow. So Miru and Kaku said goodbye. Miru and Kaku said goodbye to their home. I thought they looked more like some sort of strange mammals than like birds, but I never would have guessed they had a backstory like that. Did they tell me this backstory? What? It's too cruel, Doctor. I'm to sorry. Creep. So are they dead or are they not dead? I don't know. To create a pitiful hybrid beings in your mad scientist experiments and then try to kill them. Shh. Maybe if you felt your creation violated the laws of nature, but artificial creatures are still alive, just like us. But they have the right to... Please, do not misunderstand. I am not responsible for their creation. What? He's not? I thought he was being clever, but I just... I, I, I think I've made a terrible mistake. Miru and Kaku's daddy was a merry daddy. He liked parties. Merry Christmas! Merry, merry Christmas! Daddy celebrated all through December, especially Christmas. They look excited to the point of getting their memories mixed up. It is a story from long ago. Oh my god, this is going to be a An accident episode. in a certain lab caused the birth of two hybrid life forms. None of the researchers had expected their creation. Was this not already established? At first, the new life forms were hoped to hold great scientific oh value, but they soon proved to be almost identical to existing birds. Voids. Once the investigation was complete, they were disposed of. But there were one. But there was one researcher who acted irresponsibly. The researcher was charged with taking care of them. May I ask what you intend is, to do? Is with them? he the one that started to take care of them? He's their father, but not their creator. Saki, do you need to ask? They will be tried in the court of law, naturally. But they're unidentified creatures born of the excess of modern science. Can they even have trials? I'm still trying to figure out where they got the fucking tank at this point. The, <laughs> like, that's just where I'm at with this. The law only covers humans and birds. Even if they look like birds, I don't think they can. So then... They do not have the right to be tried by law. All they can do is wait to be cold. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> Ding! I object! Because I'm Ace Attorney. They may have done some bad things, but no birdie was badly injured. The worst was Yuya's, uh, worst was Yuya's bird. We can't just kill them. They have a tank! <laughs> Josh. I have a proposal, Mr. Shiragane. Yes, Dr. Uomide? Shall I take them? You would? We can't, Sakuya. Giving them to him is sending them to a fate worse than death, no matter how you look at it. Please, do not be so agitated. I have no intention of harming them. Mm -hmm. Just yet. In other words, you probably will later. If you are willing to take them in, sir, I have no objections. Be respectful towards Dr. Umina, you two rapscallions. <laughs> God, I haven't seen or heard that word <laughs> ever. <laughs> and make sure to tell us where you hid Mr. Urshir's Christmas tree, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so with the help of Doctor Iwamine and Yuya, we captured the Christmas thieves Miru and Kaku. No one need fear for their uh, for, for their, their their decorations. Yeah, but why? But why was the doctor so happy to help? He didn't even ask for compensation. Normally, he would have asked for something. That will be one leg, please. Like that? Maybe it was his idea of a Christmas present. Oh. 3 a.m. already? Yeah. That's way too late. The music just suddenly cut. Jesus Christ, we got them to tell us where the stolen trees are, so I should go home to eat udon and sleep. Miru, Kaku. Still have your caretaker rings from the lab, yes? Oh my god. Karen, yeah. <laughs> caretaker, caretaker, <laughs> look. <laughs> Let me see. <gasps> Is that their real names? You, ugh. Oh, sorry. Uh, you, uh, you never did leave anything behind but trouble. Is that a character we already know who's dead? Alright. Who's Ryota? I think this is the end for real. Uh, Mr. Shirara. We got your Christmas tree back. Oh my, oh my, thank you. It really is coming to look at, isn't it? 
probably the calmest thing about this fucking game because you <laughs> birds are goddamn terrifying. <laughs> so glad yours is intact. Sakia's was completely incinerated. At least the big tree Sakia had at home was saved. I guess that's some sort of consolation. And that's the end of the investigation. I'm looking forward to working here over the break. But of course, I am pleased to have you. <sighs> Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I got the rest of the trees back to their owners. And now I'm feeling cheerful. Christmas only comes once a year. I want to spend it with having fun with every birdie. Winter break starts tomorrow too. I'm excited just thinking about it. What happened to Mira and Kaku anyway? Did the doctor take them to his house? That seems pretty cute. Dr. Iwamini living with the seasonal mascot characters? No, it's too surreal. I can't imagine it. I do wonder though. I think I'll ask the doctor before break starts. Excuse me. Bang. What? Huh? The infirmary is transformed. Sir, what happened? Are you actually even more enthusiastic about Christmas than Sakuya? I have no <laughs> Woo! Alright, go on. It's great. Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> fucking I have no fondness for superstitions. <laughs> have I not mentioned that before? Oh my god. The doctor is transformed too. Maybe it's protective camouflage? Sir, what happened to you? Don't tell me you finally got that lobotomy. Wow. They always give me another as soon as I've taken it off. Oh, the hat, not the lobotomy. <laughs> it's easier to work if I leave it on. <laughs> oh, they, Samira and Kaku are... <laughs> They're here! You're keeping them in here, sir? Yes, they would only get in my way at my house. Wow. Not that they don't get in the way here. Grumpy, as usual. He seems to be putting up with them so far, but he hardly looks happy about it. I wouldn't count on their heads staying attached for much longer. They should calm down after the new year. They are mostly excited by Christmas, after all. You don't think you're pushing yourself too hard, sir? What do you mean? Maybe I'm imagining it, but you don't quite look like you mean it, sir. It is your imagination. It is tiring to have them here all the time. Perhaps I should make a hutch for them outside. Oh my god. It doesn't look like he's using them for research. What is he thinking? He's treating them awfully nicely, though. I've never seen him act that nice. Maybe he likes cute animals? I'm going home now, Doctor. Thank you for everything this year. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Is that it? End of chapter! Well, that... Trophy earned! Merry fucking Christmas, everybody. We're in the Christmas trophy. This has been the weirdest, and I mean it, weirdest adventure I've in pineapple gaming history. I've... And I'm very sad for John that he missed it. But I, I've never gone this black into a game before, you know? He like, can watch and he can experience as a viewer and hopefully the viewers enjoyed this journey as much as I did because, yeah, man... As... Uh, we will... We uh, Let us know if you like this. Um, <laughs> we'll do all kinds of shit with this. I will say, though, I am feeling more <sighs> tired than usual after these. But it's because we're talking so much, you know? Yeah, it's exhausting. Yeah. Like, I think we're going to need a long break before we start recording our next game in this session, which I'm oh, not telling you what yeah. yet, but you'll know by the time this episode comes out what it is. Spoilers! But not really, but, you know, by the time this episode comes out, it's going to be like, oh yeah, it's that game. It's been out for a while at this point. Oh, all right. Wow. Um, all right, well, we'll talk to you guys on the on the flip side. Oh, the next time on Pineapple Gaming. Not this, probably. <laughs> Definitely. Like not this. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.